Hey guys, welcome to Savage Air Guns. Today we are going to be going over the H&N slugs in .217. And I have the sampler pack here, so I'm going to uh, tell you what each one of these are. We're going to be launching them through the chronograph on the Invader without any kind of suppression on it. Uh, my Invader does not have any adjustments or anything to the hammer spring. It is completely stock. So we should get accurate readings out of it and be able to tell what the Invader can push different weight slugs at. So these slugs are in 0.217 cal. You can also get them in 0.218. If you look, the back's just a little bit concave. And they are a very shallow hollow point. All right, so the different weights of these are 21 grains, 23 grains, 25 grains, 27 grains, and tw or 30 grains. So that's all the different sizes we have. All right, so one thing you gotta remember is slugs are much heavier than a pellet is. So just to give you an example, this is the 21 grain, and the 23, 25, 27, and the 30. Now, if you look at this, here's your standard Crossman hollow point, and that's way down here on the 14s. We're not, we're not even to the lightest slug yet. Take something like the Terminator from H&N, okay? And that's at like 16 grains. So we're still not to the lowest slug yet. You take something like a 25 cal, now mind you, these are, these are 22 cal rounds, so take something like a 25 cal field target trophy, this weighs 20 grains, so it's still not even as heavy as that one is. You can use the H&N silver points. Those ones weigh 24 grains, so they actually fall somewhere right around here. Now, if you take a H&N Crow Magnum in 25 cal, that's 26.24 grains, so that one only falls right there. It'd be like dead center between those two slugs. Then if we take something like the Barracuda Hunter, which is the one that I like to use out of the 25 cal, this is a 27.47 grain slug. So this one is just a little bit heavier than that one. The Barracuda Hunter Extreme, this is a 28.24 grain round. So that's still not even as heavy as our heaviest slug. That's about right there. And then our heaviest one in 25 cal that I brought out is a 30.86 grain Barracuda from H&N. And that one weighs just barely more than that last slug. So you're essentially shooting something that's weighing, you know, something like a 25 cal pellet out of a 22 pellet gun. So therefore, you're not going to get the speeds that you normally would have gotten using regular pellets. So you need to keep that in mind when you're shooting slugs that they're not going to exit the barrel as fast because you're basically, on a 22, you're basically shooting a 25 cal weighted round out of your 22 cal rifle. All right, so we're going to get out there and we're going to find out what each one of these slugs are moving at, how much energy they're producing. So stand by and we're going to go shoot some lead. All right, we got everything set up. It's to the right weight and round size and everything. We're gonna do a five shot group of the 21 grains first. First shot. Seven seventy four, thirty seven point eight joules. Second shot. Seven sixty nine, thirty seven point four joules. Third shot. 765.8, 37 joules. Fourth shot. 769.5, 37.8, 37 37.4 joules. Last shot. 769.5, 37.8, 37 37.4 joules. Now I'm gonna go refill and we'll do the 23s. For that five shot group, 774, 769, 765, 769, 769, 
and the last two were an identical shot. Three of them were 769. So that's the 21 grains. I don't know if you can see this or not, but we are topped off again. This time we are shooting the 23 grains and we'll do another five shots. First shot. 756.5, 39.6 joules. Second shot, 746.5, 38.5 joules. Third shot, 735.3, 37.4 joules. Fourth shot, 751.1, 39 joules. And fifth shot, 705.3, I don't know what was up with that one, 34.4. 4 joules. For the 23 grains, our first shot was 756, then we were 746, 735, 751, and 705. Uh, that one was kind of all over the place, not quite sure what's going on there, but we're going to fill up and do the 25 grain. We got it topped back off, and we are going to go ahead and shoot the 25 grains through here. First shot. 731.5, 40 joules. 719.1, 38.6 joules. 711.4, 37.8 joules. 715.6, 7, 38.3 joules. And final shot. 720 on the dot, 38.7 joules. 731.5, 719, 711, 715, 720 on the 25 grain. Next is going to be the 27 grain. All right, now we are running the 27s through here. 27 grains. First shot, 679.3, 37.3 3 joules. Second shot, 679.8, 37.3 joules. Third shot, 673.1, 36.6 joules. Fourth shot, 680.7, 37.4 30, joules. Fifth shot, 673.5, 36.6 joules. On that one, it's 679, 679, 673, 680, and 673. That was 27 grains. Now we are going to bump it up to the biggest one, which barely fits in the magazine, which is the 30 grain. We are topped off, and this is our biggest slug we have. So let's go ahead and launch five more through here and see what the 30 grain H&N hollow point slugs will do. First shot. 752.1 at 38.3 joules. Second shot. 645.9 uh, at 37.6 joules. Third shot. 655 at 38.6 joules. Fourth shot. 643.9 at 37.3 joules. And final shot. 652.2 at 38.3 joules. And our shots for this are 652, 645, 655, 643, and 652. So a little all over the place, but not too bad for such a heavy round. So here's all the shots, one through 25. All right, so let's recap all these numbers. In my opinion, 21 grain was the best performer with three out of five shots being the same FPS and by having the lowest standard deviation. Yet the 21 grain was also the second least powerful slug at the muzzle. Only the 27 grain slug was less powerful and not by that much. Even though the 27 grain 
was the least powerful. It did have the lowest extreme spread of all the slugs shot today, and it was the second most consistent shooting slug of the group. 30 grain was the second most powerful of the group at 38 joules or 28 foot pounds, but was in the middle of the pack when looking at standard deviation. Still, it was one of only two rounds to go over 28 foot pounds or 38 joules. So it's an all around average slug with some good punch to go with it. 25 grain was the second to last in standard deviation and extreme spread while boasting the highest muzzle energy at 38.6 joules or 28.4 foot pounds. Even though it was second to last in standard deviation and extreme spread, it was a really consistent grouping if you didn't count the first shot which was the only faster shot. Now, 23 grains. For whatever reason, my fifth shot was comically slow and was throwing off the totals. But not even taking that into account, it still had the worst performance with standard deviation and extreme spread and was dead middle in muzzle energy. If you take back into account the last shot and then you look at the 23 grains, it was the worst performing slug of the bunch. But what do you guys think? Which slug would you choose? Do you want to see me shoot these at targets and check the accuracy also? I know this video took a little while to get out and there was a bit of space between me putting out content, but if I'm going over all the numbers and doing a lot of editing, it takes a little bit longer than usual. So I appreciate it if you made it this far and thanks for watching.